Apex just issued a secret ban wave and what in the world's going on with some of the latest events. We've also got some news regarding the brand new collection event that seems to be coming out and some good news regarding one of the issues that we had with the current event. If you guys want to stay up to date with all things inside of the world of Apex Legends news and of course like the video and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's dive into what's going on right now. First, I wanted to make mention a little bit of an update to yesterday's video. We talked about cups and we talked about this rumble mode, whatever. Well, according to Hypermist, it will have its own playlist where all the active rumbles will be listed in which you can choose to register. It will not take away the option to play the normal three strikes mode. So it's nice that it's not going to make any kind of ruckus on any of these other playlists. But also, if they're going to be forcing crossplay like this, this may open the window to a whole new way that they are able to actually bring new modes and uh, how consistent they're going to be as far as the player base is concerned. So very excited to see that. Also, wanted to mention big shout out to mr aos nepsy thank you for sending me this over on twitter but here is an apex legends ban server and this is public by the way but out of nowhere just yesterday there were a lot of bans that just got flooded inside of this server and a lot of top apex predators involved in this as well so finally you know we've been complaining about a lot of people playing ranked and being able to get pred and whatever the case may be but it looks like many of them just got banned hours ago now the only thing that's a little weird about this is traditionally you'll see hideouts or respawn come out to say we banned x amount of pc players x amount of playstation players and so on and so forth but that did not happen with this and i wonder if it has anything to do with the recent backlash you know going on about how much they take pride in their bands and whatever they're doing and the development of their you know security team maybe the approach is to take a more you know head down and just get the work done type of thing i'm not sure but they're definitely not making big posts about it or haven't at least yet maybe they will in the next couple of days or hours but it does look like many 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 players especially inside the rank scene and especially inside of the apex predator scene were just recently banned now we've also got some good news regarding the events in this game of course one of the biggest complaints we had about the current event was the fact that it was an absolute gamble in order to get one of the items that you wanted you couldn't just simply buy that item you had to take the gamble buy a pack and hope that you got that one well they actually did this in the times past said they promised to never do it again because they understood it was kind of a scummy move and here they are doing it again well to clear up some confusion hypermiss says the urban assault event is a normal collection event you can directly unlock the skins for 1800 apex coins or 2400 crafting medals on april the 23rd and the trailer for this event should release on april the 18th so it's nice to see that they're not going to go in that direction again hopefully maybe this time it's a more permanent thing and they've actually learned their lesson with the feedback that they got from this event but you could also see on screen some of the skins that you're going to be seeing in this event as well here was also a more up close and personal look at this new wraith skin coming out crowd rindo had over on his youtube channel i think this skin is probably the best honestly gonna be the best skin in the entire game i personally think but definitely the best wraith skin we have ever seen so very excited for this stuff to come out also hyper mist had shown an in-game look at the octane high tide dive trail so this honestly is probably one of the better dive trails but i can't say that i've ever really been a massive fan of dive trails to begin with so you know take it for what you will also you can see what the octane skin is going to look like itself what's funny enough is that apex is the one that's actually released a lot of this stuff i guess accidentally or maybe they're doing it on purpose at this point lastly wanted to make mention and get your thoughts on this new loyalty program mentioned in a recent apex survey but it looks like apex is thinking about the option of claiming free rewards in an apex web shop with the ability to unlock more free rewards after purchasing specific store items or by reaching specific dollar spend goals with a set period of time so basically if you spend enough money on us we'll give you some type of prize for doing so i guess a little bit of an incentive to spend more money not sure how i feel about that loyalty program it makes you feel good right loyalty you're in our program but it's really you know hey give us a lot more money and basically we'll just slip you a little something i guess to take care of you but you know let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date with all things inside of the world of apex legends news and until the next time we'll see you all later gators